So this survey is a complex damp survey. We have brown staining internally, which generally suggests that there's been a leak. However, there's a really good reason why condensation could be the primary cause of all the dampness in this property. And condensation will act like a leak on a solid floor and on cold pipes. So have a look at the survey. Uh, we are going to look at the data loggers in greater depth to understand whether it is actually just comes down to condensation. One thing is that there was missing a stopcock, so I couldn't test the for a mains water leak, which I normally do. Have a look at the survey. Uh, there was a leak last yeah, winter. Or, yeah, so end of last winter. So. so the leak was coming through here, yeah, so they had to resurface. Oh, uh, from, from under the stairs. Yeah, exactly. So okay. they had to resurface. So these buckets were there. So, uh, is, it, okay. is there a main spot? Yeah, I can't see. Oh, no. ah, blue. This uh, dampness through there. These have been sealed up. Uh, there's some, some slight cracking, but nothing major. Just to say, this type of property always has issues, and you have to look at both sides, including the neighbours and the cracks along there. Uh, there's a crack, there's water able to get in through there and, and that further up and likewise this. So we'll have a look in here. They may be in or they may be out. Obviously. I always so ha like to have a look on the labour side. Looking under the floor, you can see the condensation it's possible, beads. It's just condensation, but I'd say it's more likely to be a leak and a, any leak or indeed condensation that's for running on the floor will act and look like a leak. You got the pipe here. You've got, do you see there's water on this pipe? There's, obviously that's in the form of condensation, but that's dampness there running along the pipe and then that pipe is running along there. That is It's also damp. That, oh, that's just an old pipe that's doing nothing but condensation's forming on it. That just tells me there's a huge amount of vapour in this house, as well as this cupboard. But the cupboard is going to get moisture from the house if it's opened from time to time. I mean, it looks, it looks drier than your neighbours. Can I just see the other side of the story? Th this is on the neighbour side, and a high Thank damp meter much. reading, 999, yeah, so it's suggests a it's high deep. dampness, but it, it's probably coming from the the, uh, the side that I was doing the main survey on. It so doesn't look as brown on this side. Yeah, let's try there. That's really helpful. Thanks. Did it affect anything? Yes, but nothing. That's part of the thing. Yes, yes, no, 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 no. But it's also the, the fun. Okay, the simplest test is to have the. So I like to test for a leak, but unfortunately I couldn't turn the stopcock off at the roadside, and that, that's where I think the, the leak is. Uh, the stopcock was was missing the uh, the function to turn it off presumably there's a means of turning the water off but no no means of passing and stopped after about ten minutes so i will make a little bit of a check in there i've taken the turn off and now if i'm looking in the uh, gut this completely blobs up Difficult to see where it's supposed to go. Um, some electrical pipes going through it. So, so virtually no uh, vapour was coming the through the ducting because of this electrical piping, uh, electrical it's wiring. It's dusty because there's no air flowing through So that, that is the ducting that I'm touching there, sort of plastic. Uh, and then an electrician has got 
put that Y is through, so it's basically no airflow. I'm afraid you're going to have to get somebody put in to fix it. I'll get an electrician in. Uh, and this is uh, very, I mean, in theory, you could use this, but in practice, it, the cost of extractor fans is negligible compared to the cost of the um, elect electrician. So uh, you want to have one set up for a half an hour overrun, or even I would, in this case, I would probably put in what's called a continuous flow extractor fan. This is looking through a thermal imaging camera where blue is about five degrees colder than orange and, and red. You tend to get heat loss at the base of the wall, which is why condensation forms there and, and often looks like rising damp. Testing other damp now. So this is looking elsewhere in the property. It's dry at the moment, but the signs of dampness, uh, it is, has been summertime. So it's when we are uh, late October. Uh, so it's possible that this is winter related to do with heat loss rather than external rain penetrating through. Uh -huh. So it's dry and it has been quite wet recently. Oh, it's been very wet, wet summer, and this is dry. It leads me to believe that it's uh, internal rather than external i.e. condensation. That could be residual damp from condensation. My, my suspicion is that it's all condensation related. See, the risk is that you get a lot of heat loss here uh, and uh, risk of condensation. Looking on the outside, uh, the timber doesn't look in great condition. Otherwise, yeah, some of the, well, one of the tiles has been replaced. It is possible that it's coming through, but it's also just as likely that it's condensation related. Yeah, that tile needs to be uh, reinserted properly. And um, that one's cracked. As is that, I think. But as I say, it's liable to have condensation forming on it because of the heat loss and the poor ventilation including in the kitchen. So looking elsewhere, just, just, just so if anyone we've got here, mold so of, and brown staining. Both colors, I'm guessing. Uh, I mean, just, just to be clear, you get mold because of high vapor levels. Uh, so I'll put a data log in there. Um, the having a humidifier will go a long way to solve that problem. But, um, so I'm just going to put B there. Uh, put C in the uh, bedroom here, just for consistency. Because uh, there is some dampness here. Where, where's a good place to put uh, maybe in the corner there? And then uh, I've only got two left now. One needs to go to the bathroom, one in the kitchen. So we'll just leave this, yeah. this here for now. Uh, I mean, do, you, do you use cell tape with um, or no? Yeah. And then the, the kitchen one. I mean, if you're okay for me to just put it on top of here. Yeah. The thing on video, um, just so then you can see exactly and you can share it with you and, and, and vice versa. And hopefully you learn from, from it and other surveys. I, mean, I do everything on video these days. Uh, 
So on the other side there is a crack, a render crack there, some damage here. It looks like it's been damp proofed in the past, which tends to be cast more like to. So, so water could be penetrating through, but I still think it's more likely that it's condensation. But it's sensible to, to fill any cracks and gaps. So these need to be able to exacerbate the problem. The other thing is that there is one of these um, uh, machines for cleaning floors uh, which uses water so be aware of that uh, if it's high condensation you're increasing the risk of water just around the edges uh, there's a dehumidifier which is great but it's only 10 liters per day it should be 20 liters a day to maximize the benefit of uh, drawing water from drying clothes internally as much as anything else so uh, thanks and look at my other videos because that, that will help as well